Hey guys, this is Viking Zone NFL again. Here's another tutorial. I have a fun game here, it's called Fate. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. You can buy it, it's um from Wild Tangent. I bought it off Yahoo Games. It's probably about seven dollars now. It's a very fun game. And I'm gonna show you how to mod it with the Fate Mod Manager. Okay, so let's get started. First of all you're gonna have to download it. I will provide you with a link to the site that I have uploaded it to. It's called Mega Upload. You don't even have to register or anything. Awesome site to download stuff from. If you do register, you get points and you can transfer that stuff in later, but it doesn't matter for now. It'll be over to in the comments to the right of your screen. Um, let's get started. After you click, click on the link I have provided you, oh. After you click on the link I have provided you, it will take you to this site. And down here it will say Fate Mod Manager 1.36.exe. It's a very small thing as you can see. Simply type in whatever they tell you to type in right here. In this case, click download. You have to wait about 25 seconds. Unless you have premium, which some people do I know. it's it's an awesome package, so if you want to buy that, go ahead, have fun. And I'm just going to wait here. I don't have premium right now, I'm hoping to get it later. You just click free download. And you click save, click it to your desktop. I'm not actually going to save it right now, seeing as I already have it. And basically, you're going to have Fate, but you're going to also have your Fate Mod Manager. Note, I have a few other things, a few mods of my own that I downloaded, so right now we're just going to be worried about this, Fate Mod Manager. Basically, what you're going to do is it's going to be easy. You're going to open it. And those of you who know Fate, obviously you know how to play the game and such. So you're simply going to open this. Okay, here it is. Now, I have some mods right here because I have them in my file that because I, I downloaded them. An awesome site to download some from. Well, here are a few sites. You can simply just type in Fate Mods. And certain.net. Awesome site. You just go on to it. You click Mods, and they have all these different mods. You just simply download them, and then you upload them to your game, which I'll show you how to do in a sec. Now, let's just say we want to download this one. We'll click Alcafoss Zip. You save it. You need either WinZip or WinRAR to open it. You're going to save it to your desktop, and then you're going to unzip it, and you're going to have to extract it. I'll show you how to do that. I'll just download this. Only six megs, so it'll be pretty fast. Just simply save it to your desktop. Take just probably 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how si uh, what the size of the mod is. Okay. Now on your desktop, you'll have this. If you have this is for WinZip. I prefer Win WinZip over WinRAR, but you can still have WinRAR, and then it'll show up as three books stacked. And the process for either of them is the same. Open it up, and you'll see all these. What you want to do, is you're going to want to select them all, click Extract. What you're going to do is you're going to extract them, as you see here, Program Files, and you're going to want to find a fake mod. Now, this all depends on where you bought it from. But what you're basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up my computer, local disk, program files. Now, wherever you bought it from, you should look for their open thing. Like for me, it's Yahoo Games, or you could just go into search and search Fate. But you're going to open up to wherever you got it, Fate, and you're going to have to make a new m folder in there called Mods, and that's exactly where you're going to extract it to. 
So, you use the Fate Mod Manager. What you're going to do is, you say Refresh List. What it'll do is it'll have them all right here. And then you just find it. You click on it, like say, Sludge Bandits. I already have it in there, but you say Apply Mod. It'll put it in there. And then remove the second version of it. And it'll have all the ones over here. Now, what you can do with this is then it'll auto the auto the item will be in your game, which then you open up Fate. Once you log in, you press Control Shift and tilde. If you have no idea what tilde is, it's the button to the left of one. It has a little sw swivel mark, and a question mark will appear on your computer. After the question mark, you just type in the name of the item you want, press Enter, and it'll instantly appear next to you. Other thing you can do to mod Fate, either you can either mod the items you ha you just got or the previous ones that you had. You go to items, and you have to click on the dat file. If it asks you what you want to open it with, you have to say notepad. Find the item you want, and you can just change whatever you want. You can change the value of it, how much you know, how much it sells for. Change the damage, attack speed, fast, fast, fastest, slow, slowest, all that stuff. What it requires, all that stuff. And it's very awesome. It can get you rich fast. And the other thing you can do is obviously use Cheat Engine. I'm not going to talk go into that, but you can search that in another video. And you'll find it. So basically, that's what you do for Fate Mod Manager. And um, again, if you don't know how to get the item after you load it onto your game, you press you press and hold Control Shift Tilde, and then you let, can let go. A question mark will appear on your screen. I'm not going to show that because it takes a while to log into Fate. And then you just type in what you want. Press Enter it'll appear next to you. And a tip, pre put type in legendary before some items and it'll give you a legendary version of it. It's very awesome, it has a lot better stats. And then if you're not high enough level for the item you want, just again, go into your computer, local disk, find program files, find wherever you saved it, go into fate, items, find the dat file, open it up with notepad, and like example, here's swift elven bow, and it requires dexterity 100. If I, if I didn't have that, I could just type in 1, close out, say yes to save changes. Now when it appears, it'll only require 1 dexterity, but still be just as good, and you'll waste with it. Okay, well, that's ba basically it. And um, I'm starting to like making these tutorials, so if you have any, any, any ideas on a tutorial you want made, and I know how to do it, simply ask me, and check out my other tutorials, like Line Rider, and, yeah, just post comments and rate. Okay, bye.